Hello, I am Jacob from Intrepid ProtoWorks. I am a human factors and engineering consultant. Human factors is a science which deals with the use of information on physiological and psychological characteristics and applies it to the design of systems and devices so that they better work with the people they are intended for. One of our most important and foundational tools in this field is statistics. The following series will look at how to write your own statistical tools for use in either the field or in your own investigative endeavors. If you are a student, these topics will likely very much relate to what you are learning in most statistics courses. Bear in mind, this will be from the perspective of the behavioral sciences and priorities and terms will be described in line with those sciences. It's important to note, we will not be using some sort of pre-prepared statistics package. Rather, we will be using Python 3.6. This is not a Python tutorial series. However, you can likely follow along just fine without much of a computer science background. With that said, a basic understanding of Python and programming will help. There are a lot of tutorial series out there which are great for learning. I'll reference those when needed. Python is free and using it will allow you to learn the formulas at the same time as you learn how to apply them on the computer. In most statistics courses, most often learning the calculation is an abstract exercise which is then very different from how you use the tool in practice. While we will touch on research methods out of necessity, it will not be our focus. That is an entire other set of tutorials. We will use data sets which are available on the internet like the USA IPUMS, so that in total all the tools to participate in the series will be free and openly accessible. The statistical tools we will be looking at will include descriptive statistics like the average, median, and mode. We will also look at inferential tools like the z-test, t-test, and ANOVA. Depending on how the series goes, we will continue to cover other additional tools as needed. If there is anything you would like to see in this series, please be sure to let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe so you can see all of our awesome content.